Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. In the previous episode we teamed up with Aqua and Ventus and defeated the Trinity Armor and found out that Aqua was spying on us? Yeah, it was kind of an awkward moment, but eh, we'll just move on. But oh yeah, and then we also found out, uh, yeah, Master Zanehort may be captured by some thugs in the Outer Garden, so we're gonna go check that out. I'll just dispatch some unversed. I mean, yeah, we got, I think we got a new command style in the previous episode, or was it a shot lock? You know, I can never remember that, that one, but we will find out in due time. Is there anything I really need to purchase from here? I mean, we could look, I mean, yeah, we got Thunder Surge for almost all of our money. Yeah, I think I'll pass on that one. We got some Fires, some Thundara. I'm really against, I don't know if I'm the only one, but I'm really against spending money in this game on commands when you can very easily just farm them and then raise them up and then fuse them. I don't know, that's just the way I see it. I find it a bit not really not really efficient, I guess is the best word to describe it. No me I want you dead. Give me the crystals. Why did I cure there? I'm not too sure why, but I'll get Oh we got stop. That's pretty good I guess I mean I can't really complain too much about that really so. not bad, not bad. Probably gonna do a little bit of, uh, actually, I guess we should check out our commands. I, I apologize if you really just don't care, you just want to see me, like, destroy stuff, but yeah. Kira got maxed out. Don't think we'll be needing, uh, Kira, so I guess I could pop in a Cure. Because basically what we have to do is we have to combine two Curas to make the final Cure spell, so I kind of want to get that. Yeah, Blizzard Edge. We probably got something better than Blizzard Edge. Let me just, Strike Raid, not really Fire Dash. Yeah, I guess so. I guess that's pretty much our best offensive option for that. So. I guess we can keep our commands the way they are for the time being. But yes, if you do have Cura, I recommend <laughs> using it. But like I said, for the time being, I'm just going to try and get some EXP onto the Cure uh, command so we can combine it and get some better stuff. And man, this place is huge. Quite a nice uh, view. Very nice garden. All right. Let's finish off this guy with Thunder Surge attack, and yay, pulsing crystals. Maybe. You need to get the synthesizing like crystals mostly. Half the time it's not a matter of... <laughs> see, I'm keep geeking out, but like... I love the synthesizing in this game, it's so fun, but I guess I should maybe switch it up a little bit and talk about the story. It's probably a good idea. So, honestly, if I'm in Terra's shoes, even though Aqua's like... I don't know if they're childhood friends, I, I'd say so. I mean, we're pretty good friends, we can trust each other. But the fact that, you know, it's going to other worlds and seeing what I've been doing, I mean, that's that's kind of odd. I mean, yeah, I guess she does have a right to be concerned, but I mean, couldn't she come to me directly and talk? Conf I mean, guess, I guess this is the first time she's really found me other than the uh, Cinderella Castle, which I know is not the name of the world, but let's be honest, that's what we can all sort of refer to, because, you know, I, I grew up always going to Disney World and, you know, Cinderella Castle, big deal. Definitely big deal. Fire, nice, not bad. Not a bad pickup. I think there's another treasure chest over there. Ooh. Don't mind if I do and knock you guys out. We got a fire dash. See, the thing about Terra is it's like you get all these really great uh, physically offensive <laughs> commands. It's like you don't even want to use them just because his animations for swinging that giant keyblade is just. I don't know, it just looks so cool, but yeah. The story that's so far, it, it really intrigues me how we can draw some parallels to other Kingdom Hearts games and some other scenarios with other characters. And it's like, some people really be like, why are these people acting stupid? And it's like, well, given given their viewpoints of the scenario, I mean, is it really that far-fetched to see it from the way they see it? I think that, yeah, this guy's gonna knock me out. No big deal, though. It didn't really take that much damage. So, I don't know. I can kind of see where Terra's coming from, but at the same time, you're such good friends, you know, and how long has he really known Xehanort? I mean, maybe there's something I'm missing, but either way, I guess it'd be a good idea to go rescue a Keyblade Master, so let's go help the guy out.
Master Xehanort! The old coot certainly knows how to take punishment. Just like I know how to deal it out. You monster! What are you after? That thing right there. It's called the Keyblade, isn't it? Yep. Seems like these days everybody's got one of those. Even Grandpa there. When I nabbed him, he told me all about it. What a weapon like that can do. How could I not want one? Well, you'll find they're picky about their owners. <laughs> if I heard the old guy right, you're what they call Keyblade Master Material. So if I defeat you, that makes me the real Keyslinger. If you catch my drift. Not the most polite way to go about it. But what can you do? Uh, uh, one more step and the coot goes boom. You think I'm gonna fight fair? As if. That key's too powerful for us to go mano a mano. <laughs> for a Keyblade Master, you're not very... What's the word? Good? What are you doing, Tara? Fight! But Master, you'll... Never mind me! You must fight! You can't let this ruffian win! Think of your master, Ericus! The shame he and your fellow pupils would be forced to bear! Use the Keyblade! So much for the bluff. This guy is gonna pay for what he did to Master Zaynhort. This is the boss fight with Bray again. He may appear to be just some thug, but you're gonna find out very quickly. He is actually quite intimidating. He's gonna start the battle off by going up to his balcony and then shooting you from afar. Hit him two times with your counter, and, well, he'll come back down. Apparently that was not a good strategy for him, and man, Thunder Surge just makes this boss a complete joke. If anything, though, just abuse your guard and your dashes. The only real risk you have here is if he sunslocks you with his bullets, which is kind of a pain if it happens. Though, when he says reloading, that's pretty much your cue to go in and get some swift attacks in. All right. We are going to change into Critical Impact. Hopefully we can get some good damage on it. Oh, do not want that to happen. Let's use our oh, counter hammer really did hit there. Because he went into the balcony phase yet again. Now, depending on where you are, the timing for this is going to be different. Oh, man, that was a really good... Not only a prediction, but, hey, I'm glad that worked out. Oh, my gosh. Just completely destroying him here. <laughs> you really do not need Cura, but, hey, it's nice. If you are struggling, though, just meld some commands to have HP bonuses. You should be okay. All right. Let's actually hit our attacks. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was really, really bad. Oh man, that Thunder Surge did not hit. Are you serious? That sucks. Right, let's get Blizzard Edge. Oh man, he does that. Okay. Just mash down the... Uh, oh man, went on the balcony again. But no, mashing down uh, Square does help a lot. Just increases your window to block and all right. So far, he's playing pretty passive. I wanted to... Uh, darn it. Yeah, I wanted to heal, but no, I wanted to use Fire Dash before he could get that off, but that's all right. Let's Thunder Surge him again, get all those hits, and interrupt his other attack. Okay. He has a tendency to float up in the air for some reason. Not too sure why, but it admittedly does look pretty cool. Though I should stop complimenting the enemy when he's shooting me in the back, quite literally. All right, see if we can't cure. No, it is still on cooldown. That's okay, though. Just bounce two more of these shots back at him and rinse and repeat, really. He should go down rather effortlessly if you're even a fractionally as strong as me. Oh man, we're getting a little low there. Let's heal up real fast just so we don't risk losing him. Down to goes Brig. Uh, yeah, you really can't mess with a Keyblade Master. Don't know if you got that memo or not. <laughs> Such a bad joke.
Easy. This power. Well done, Terra. You have taken yet another step forward. But I was consumed by anger. Hatred. That was the power of darkness. Darkness that you channeled. No. I succumbed to it. Just like when I stole Princess Aurora's Heart of Light. I can never return home now. I'm a failure. Then don't. You could be my pupil. <laughs> Master Ericus, you see, is so afraid of darkness that he too has succumbed. Not to darkness, but to light. It shines so bright, he forgets that light begets darkness. <laughs> and Aqua and Ventus, their light shine too bright. It is only natural that they cast shadows on your heart. Ericus is such a fool. Light and darkness, they are a balance. One that must always be maintained. Terra. You are the one who shows the true mark of mastery, but he refuses to see it. And I know why. It is because he fears you. Join me. You and I can do the world's much greater good by wielding light and darkness in equal shares. Master Xehanort. See more worlds. Seek out the darkness that upsets the balance. Find Vanitas and bring an end to him. Master Terra. He's not gonna betray us at all. What? Come on. He's a good guy. What are you doing? Come on. Tara! Take me with you. I can't do that, Ven. Uh, why not? I just... When I really need you, Ven, I know you'll be there. <laughs> well, why wouldn't I? You're my friend. Yeah. You're right. Thanks, Ven. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Just, just, just put that down. You still need me. You still need me to do something, right? And all I'm asking is that you hold up your end of the bargain. Ugh. I mean, what's a little scratch on my face, huh? All things considered. 
I'm just lucky he didn't steal my heart like Princess, whatever it was. <laughs> that would have ruined my week for sure. Unlikely. A powerful light still lives inside of Terra. You see, people like him, they don't have the power to steal hearts. So wait, you mean... He's not the one who stole her heart? <laughs> the plot thickens! Ooh! And so does the game, actually, because now we can go to new worlds now that we have completed that rather large world, and yeah, three new worlds to investigate, one of which is a complete joke, so I guess we'll be doing that next time, or maybe we won't, maybe we will, I'm not too sure, and yeah, something seems awfully fishy about Master or you guys, what, what do you guys think of him, you think he's a bad guy, I mean, judging by the opening movie, maybe, I don't know. I don't know, anyways. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. That title is not getting any shorter <laughs> in the next episode. We're going to investigate Disney Town since, heck, we got a lifetime pass. We might as well. Maybe we can get something cool there, or maybe we could waste a whole lot of time. Who knows? Find out in the next part. See you guys then. Bye.